Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play another Hangout event. Last time was Beidou. Now we play Goro. Actually, one of my less... Uh, uh, how to say? Least favourite, I guess. <laughs> but okay, we'll just do it. Try to settle all of these Hangout events as possible. Accidental encounter. Wait, where? Nazuma City. Okay, let's see. I don't think Goro's one will be long. Oh, Yaimiko is here. I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> How do you know? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? Wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh. Oh, trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh. And how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. <laughs> Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? <laughs> don't be nervous. Just follow your heart's desire. He's not going to fall for it. We've fought side by side. Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. All right. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically something about her is strangely intimidating i could probably deal with her in battle but i don't know where to start when i run into her in normal life i guess this is a weakness of mine mm. <sighs> you're right i've heard her excellency say the same thing before in any battle you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings as long as i don't come into contact with yai miko Everything should be fine. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers I've write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. 
<sighs> Let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. Go to a quiet spot to finish writing the replies. <clears throat> Let's see. Huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, <laughs> you know who at the Yai Publishing House later. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, I can avoid her. But stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away, and we'll run for our lives. <laughs> I mean... Uh, run for our lives. Uh, uh, we'll... Make a strategic retreat. Anyway, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> okay. Hmm? I thought you were going to survey the scene at Yai Publishing House. About to. <laughs> what was that quest? Uh, secret identity. Is this what I think it is? Settle down. We are gathered here today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might be? Well, of course, it's to tell the whole world about how Miss wonderful Hina fan this club is. An excellent answer. How gentle she is. How understanding she is. How delightfully mischievous so, she Miss Hina was introduced in the hangout event. We can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. But my friends, <laughs> there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. My friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? Yeah, yeah, see, I never heard of her. Who? Kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. So, what do you think? <laughs> yes. Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life, published by the Yae Publishing House? It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. Although the editor chose to conceal her name, gender, and other details, we all see her as an emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person in real life. <laughs> oh, there's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can How feel that her she respects when the me. Not even Trusts me. She has a natural ability to connect with people. She's so considerate. She can always sense our true emotions from our letters and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. Fortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image. And then the column finally started to grow in popularity. That's right. Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire and adore so greatly. And so... When we heard that Gaia Publishing House oh would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, Hina all over the nation, to gather together. 
and to witness this grand moment in history! Please, gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. Talk to the friend club members. Okay, now go back to the for Uh, let me talk to them. Just... Welcome to the Miss Hina. Adventurer lady taught it to us a few years ago. She seemed to know <coughs> everything. Adventurer lady. I've been following Miss Hina's column since the very first issue of That's Life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, to understand the missing part, I should have played this first. <laughs> oh, hey, there you are. Is, uh, <clears throat> the you know who at Yai Publishing House? Whew, that's good. I just finished writing my replies, so I was about to head to Yai Publishing House and hand them in. Why? Hmm. I guess it's because I can help people this way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. They made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then, whenever <laughs> I think about how my replies can help so many people... I feel a sense of responsibility. By this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. Well, I don't quite know what's going on, but I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while you know who isn't around. I'm really looking forward to the readers' reactions when they receive my letters. In the army, people are always a little reserved when talking to me because I'm a general, but those obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters. Everyone who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with. So I'm not about to let them down. Let's head over. Hmm? But Yai Publishing House isn't far from here, if I remember correctly. Let's just head there together. So Goro doesn't know any of this? Besides, this way, if uh, you know who does show up, we can look out for each other. Let's go! That's not what I thought. <laughs> so it's already made without his knowledge. That <laughs> let's see. Hmm, strange. It seems unusually lively here today. I don't come here often. Is it like this most of the time? Hey, there seems to be some commotion over there. Let's check it out. Allow me to reiterate, my friends. We in the Miss Hina fan club must abide by the club rules. Firstly, we mustn't try and probe into Miss Hina's true identity. We of all people cannot cause her any trouble. Okay. Secondly, fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that and not go forcing it down their throats. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better, for her sake. Can we do that, people? Can we do that? <laughs> yes, we can! Always make her proud and never bring her down. Oh, so this is what they call a fan club. I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give before going into battle. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. Did something happen? <gasps> it's not her, is it? Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss Hina. I see. Well, one way or another, 
fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not Kuro sure. doesn't know about this. Okay, I didn't know that's how well, the story now's was. Well, as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, and Who came up with the name Miss Hina? You can tell her anything that is bothering uh, you, and she will patiently advise else. you on how to deal with it. Oh, well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. She must be the polar opposite of Yai Miko, right? But he's the spitting image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh! Have you forgotten? We may not pry into Miss Hina's identity. Uh, at least let's take a photo with him. <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. Uh, sure, that's fine. Why do they want to take a picture with me? I don't know. All right, sure. Ha, <laughs> <sighs> that should do it. Right, I should really be heading to the Yai Publishing House to hand in those letters now. Uh, make way, everyone, make way. The Miss Hina billboard is here. Please, make some space. Coming through. Hey, everybody, it's the real Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Now I'm curious too. Let's go over and take a look. Um... Huh? Why? What's yeah, the problem? Yeah, about to come back. Okay, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? Sure. Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. As curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. <laughs> I can't shake the feeling there's something not telling me. I didn't think Goro doesn't know about this. I didn't think it would be like that. <laughs> okay, so that's one ending. So I guess the, uh, discover Missina's true identity. Hmm. All right. That's one. Now let's find the rest of the endings. What else? Oh, there's four options. And I took the... The secret behind the letters, the Miss Hina one. What about the others? <laughs> okay, what about the second one? This one is... Keep watch for Goro, but receive a pamphlet about Miss Hina. Oh. Okay. looks nice why don't we write the I just hope I don't anyway great let's write the replies together okay. I'm actually interested to hear your perspective let me see here mm. All right. let's start with this one today a new guy came to our village he was good-looking and had a lovely voice when I peeked at him from behind the door I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster <sighs> See, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. What's your take? She's falling ill. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't know what it's like to be in love, but if you say so, I think it makes sense. I'll reply like this then. <clears throat> It's likely that the feelings you're experiencing right now won't occur many times in your life. I urge you to summon the courage to seize this opportunity and see where it takes you, no matter where that may be. More professional. What? Really? But that's how it is in battle, too. Opportunities to seize victory are fleeting. When they arise, you have to capitalize on them right away. I imagine it's the same in love. That's my suggestion, anyway. 
come on, let's read the next letter. My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. The most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? That makes sense too. Giving the neighbor an ultimatum would likely harm the relationship between them. But the letter also makes it clear that no matter how many hints the writer gives him, the neighbor won't return the money. Mm -hmm. In that case, how about we reply like this? Why not ask to borrow some money from your neighbor? Any sum he agrees to lend you can be used to offset the amount he owes. Even if he refuses to lend to you, at least by asking to borrow from him, you are sending him the message that your own financial position is far from optimal, and he will be unlikely to ask you for money again in the near future. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But it's worth a try. The most important thing is to muster the courage to resist and not give the other person the impression that you're someone they can take advantage of. And we're done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So this is from one of my troops? Mm, most likely, but I'm not sure who. Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. Anyway, let's keep reading. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the Vision Hunt Decree, and my anger drove me to join the Resistance. My comrades mm -hmm. and I have fought side by side, and I have <clears throat> formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But this is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The Resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the Shogunate. But my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. How should I reply to him? Hmm. Let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave, but if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I suppose I'll reply... Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. Uh, I'll be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. Uh. Thanks to you, writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House, shall we? Okay, now we're going to the publishing house again, but without any knowledge about Missina. Right? <laughs> and the finish replies. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, great. There's no That's one else around. That's all the replies around, for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Miss Hina. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. Aha, uh -huh. there's the hint already, Miss Hina. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. But how are you gonna find who is... But do you know who is... Maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me, there will already be some distance between us. Great! Then let's head off whenever you're ready! Hmm, I know that feeling.
Yeah, this I have to go there. Might as well. up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting story. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see, after the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, <laughs> even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now, and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we talk about. <sighs> so that's really how it goes, huh? Well, good for you. I know. It's okay. I just... It just seems a pity. That's all. You know, having said all that, there, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. Where are your troops, General Goro? You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Long live the resistance! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance! I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Approaching footsteps. Ah, General Goru, you're here. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. I guess that's the person was not named again. Hiroaki, oh. Denjiro is right. <laughs> no matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. This one? General Goro? I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree, and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to talk to you about it. Miss Hina, again. Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I I am your subordinate, <clears throat> after all. You recognize the name already, though. Miss Hina? Who's yeah, that? Yeah, Kuro doesn't know. I didn't think that's how the story is. It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the Resistance. General Goro, I... Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. 
No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. <sighs> I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. That was... That was okay. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. The smiling Senna. Okay. It's done quite simple. Huh? Alright, that's two. Now, what is this that's split into four? From here. Once the Aimiko leave you and Goro take concert together, what they might do next? And that splits into four. Go back here again. Back to Yaimiko and Goro. In Narukami Island. <laughs> Alright, we're back here, but without the Aniko this time. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked. Sorry that you had since Watatsum. I also wanted to come and see what things are like. Uh, I, I've never been. I could probably. If that's four, I think there's like two each of this, maybe? Uh, I'll just try this. Really? That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, They'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it. For their sake. As soon as I work through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. <sighs> <laughs> first things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Mm. Good plan. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. You can be us, random NPCs. <laughs> what shall we do? Watatsumi Island again. This? I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice, but I can't just go to them and say, Hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm asking going to go with a cover friend. story sure. that I'm asking for a friend. Shuhei. I see. So, you're saying that your... <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, <laughs> is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality? Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so, I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Coping strategy. <clears throat> Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. Uh, well, you see, General Goru, uh, <laughs> General Goru's <laughs> friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much, but 
The other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, mm. actually. Uh, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Well, on my friend's behalf, okay. thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right. Let's see what Miwa has to say. Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes them along. So I'm sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with all. Uh, really? Is General Goro. I didn't think and she was the here. the captain of Swordfish too. What are you doing here? We wanted to ask you about something. Asking for a friend. <laughs> I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend, and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face, <laughs> so no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. Ah, you make so much sense. So, what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful! You have my gratitude. I'm sure with your approach, that uh, friend of mine will be able to overcome his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. Well, I'm it. slowly starting to gain confidence. Oh, the friend I suddenly thing. remembered. <laughs> her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there, too. Let's go take a look. Just to be thorough. Okay. You can't be too careful when you're going up against Yai Miko. <laughs> Her Excellency handed me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. Here. Let's see. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants. Ha! Ah, I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Well, that's Her Excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Boy, if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yai Miko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. But... How do we figure her out? Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. We're going back. <laughs> back to Yai Publishing House. Okay. We're just there. Oh, 
Greetings. Here to buy some books. We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I must say that Lady Guji has a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, <laughs> you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Yes. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, <laughs> and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mm-hmm. Uh... Well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. Uh, when we first started running it, sales were very poor. Uh, the return was barely covering costs, and... For a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new yep. marketing plan. So it was Yaimiko who did this Missy nothing, isn't it? Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That was the plan. That's life. Wait, isn't that <laughs> nothing? It just... Reminded me of something unrelated. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. Uh, yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Uh, uh, anyway, but uh, no thank you of very much. Here. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look, I'm not sure what your plan is here, but I caution you against trying to second guess Lady Guji. Caution you. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <laughs> The protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies? In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ten, okay. Go to the Grand Narukami Shrine. What shall we do? What are we doing? <laughs> Is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Select the center left, select the leftmost, select the rightmost, select the center right. This is just RNG then. <laughs> it's, uh, center left is second, leftmost is first, rightmost is fourth, center right is three. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we've drawn. 
Oh no, it's misfortune. Uh oh. This is a bad sign. The road ahead is going to be a dangerous <laughs> one. You're right. When I think about it, I'm a general of Watatsumi Island. I shouldn't let some Narukami Island fortune slip hold me back. Telling you he's lost already. <laughs> oh, no. Challenge the Aimiko again. I wonder if there is a uh, different. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Don't worry, all our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. I don't know about that. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? <laughs> no, we were coming. But of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day. And most of them came for the same reason. Most of them came for the same reason? Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate. Hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. T together For a lifetime? <sighs> Remember what Shuhei said? We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Uh oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. I'll have to this resort to the method that Miwa taught us. <laughs> By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are really just as fascinating. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. Don't say run. This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Just like me, you hug your tail when you Ooh. go to sleep. And just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. <laughs> no! <sighs> K.O. <laughs> oh, Lama. Retreat! Retreat! Yep. Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. I I... We're out oh, of here! Nico has a tail, but she just doesn't. In her human form. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> when I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again! Bye bye now. Come again soon. <laughs> Tactical retreat. I don't know. What was that? <laughs> Victorious legend. Okay. So. That was the top one. There was no other. Yeah, I don't think it matters. There's four different slips. I don't think the result will change. <laughs> okay. Now there's another one and another one. Okay, so totally different. And all split from here. I think the one might be the shortest hangout even then. <laughs> Hey, 
There was definitely some sorry that you had since watch it. I also wanted to come and see what <sighs> I've I've never been no. I could probably what do I go with? Maybe ignore again, but something else the, the other one. <sighs> You're right. This one. Let's stay clear of Yai Publishing House for now. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Would you mind coming along? Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. Okay. <sighs> oh, not in the moment. <sighs> Adventurers Guild. Will be a little difficult. Don't worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. The reason being, it is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. Mm -hmm. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Did they dug the box up? Or... Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamore Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. Oh, so it was a. they got a different box then. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. Oh. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurers Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, we will see that all items are returned to their rightful okay. owners. <sighs> I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. Well, <laughs> since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But, might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders, so I'm afraid it still could take some time. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. That is... perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Komori Tea House like? It's both, I guess. They serve tea because it's tea house, but it's also a hot pot place. Hot pot? So, they call it a tea house despite the fact that it is obviously a hot pot restaurant? Huh, how confusing. Anyway, let's go take a look. <laughs> I haven't been into commodity house in a while, I forgot where is it. Isn't it here? Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Tarumaru's number two reserve fund that they Taromaru's stole. Tarumaru's number two they struck late reserve at night fund. While there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box. 
but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. <laughs> oh, Taramaru. Oh, Taramaru, <laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. Uh, how can I describe it? It's like regional listening to a regional dialect. dialect. <laughs> a lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly. So we just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. <coughs> oh, yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I think I understand now. I do not <laughs> Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. You got that from Wolf. <laughs> Thank you, Tarumaro. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details like of the crime, but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. Like five we'll sentences. take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. Okay. That's underground, isn't it? Let's be low this item. Sniffing. Be careful. Just like the dog. Are we just gonna battle straight away? Yeah, defeat the treasure holders. Charge! No Another test subject. Propagate! <laughs> please. My Goro's level 50. <laughs> What was just a support? Everybody stand back! Scatter! Let's light it up! Germinate! Here! Order guide you! I'm liking it. Stabilize! Why am I lagging? Why is it lagging? Oh my gosh. Anything's up for negotiation. That's enough. 
Tie them up and take them away. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so <laughs> there's no need for me to be so heavy-handed. But these still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. Get the fish first. And go back. And it's an hour. Should wrap this up quickly. Pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamori Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, we can now return the box to you. Here, please take it. Oh, thank goodness. Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So, let's head there now and open it. Okay. How many times will you go back from here to Watatsumi Island? under my command water Once. bottles towels e-guards just everyday items but each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner these were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by we all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones you see their swords and pole arms broke in battle their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. Artifacts of their daily lives. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these. And instead of honoring their last wishes right away... I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. You got the box back. Yeah. But right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. Uh, that's quite sad, I think. And that's an ending. Final remembrance. Okay. And one ending off. What is it then? There's another one. I guess we're still doing the Yaimiko thing again, but what was the other option? I don't remember. Is it? Sorry that you had since Watatsumi. I also wanted to come and see what things. Right, I've, come on. I've never been. I could probably. D uh, this again. Really? That would. To be honest, this is some. So, as soon as I work. <sighs> I guess a personality you find difficult to do. Right. I have not just seen this. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. 
Where should we start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, <laughs> but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. Wait, is you gonna play pretending being a merchant? <laughs> um, okay. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you'll be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Shrewd and savvy business. Uh... Hi! <clears throat> Hi! So... Uh, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please? Thirty thousand more. Okay, I'll settle the check right away. The price seems pretty cheap to me, in which case, no need to haggle, right? Two hundred thousand more. I think that's still not too bad. Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. <sighs> this won't get us anywhere. <laughs> Guru, I have to haggle to give you the chance for... to use your wily tricks on me. <laughs> really? What do we do now? Uh... Something I'm more interested in? Maybe, um, <laughs> cake? 100,000 for a slice of cake. <laughs> That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. Okay, that, that he knows. If you want a bargain, you have to do as I say. If you can do one little thing for me. Mm. Wait a sec. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs 100,000 more per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. Oh, let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. Oh my god, Goro. <laughs> what? This is just practice, and what do you mean now? So... There isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? Uh, well, I, I don't know, maybe there is, but... <sighs> what a shame. Are you really going to spend that? No. <sighs> I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. <sighs> what kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? Fatui with the right kind of personality. Fatui? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try! Where the Fatui are? <laughs> if I had Scaramouche, just, just bring him here. <laughs> Watch out, I don't have either of them. Hang out even so unexpected. The Miss Hina, I, I had a feeling that would be in because I don't know the story about Miss Hina thing. All I know from the events, they already show Miss Hina, but I know nothing about it. <laughs> I thought Goro knows. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow I still don't have the muscles to show for it. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that, that people's too. trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the Chi Chi Mitch voice lines. The more the merrier that me amuse myself, are you here? 
Sure. What? I smell danger. Oh, is there really a Fatui here? Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. Are they? No, wait. Behind you. It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Oh. Prepare to engage. What timing? Is it really a Fatui? Where? Is it behind? There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> Fall in! Teamwork is teamwork! Oh wait, this is a trial goal. Um this is no bless, isn't it? For Boris Warbo and Why am I not surprised? Oh e So no defense. Does Goro even need defense? I thought he needs defense. Yeah, but the trial also doesn't really help. It's just a support. I don't have Hydro, I need have Geo and Denko at the moment. Uh, this will take a while. I need my energy. I'm doing 23 damage. The <laughs> it's barely anything. Just burn him. Why are you going further and further? You just stop me here. Bam! There you go. Oh my God. Still got some more. Ah, uh, this is not the team I should be using. <laughs> not the two Geo, at least I can use these two. This is not a team I have in mind. <laughs> uh, Traveler DPS then, I guess. <laughs> Drop this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if you have Ito or any Geo characters besides only, look at that, that's useful. Uh. It's all fun and games until the real Fatui show up, huh? That little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? Huh. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll be imitate as Yaimiko then instead. Is this moving a little too fast? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. To clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. Uh, I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it. Time for a make or break training exercise. How are we gonna do it? Hit the Inazuma City streets. Imagine the real Aimiko show up. I won't be surprised if that happens. <sighs> this time 
I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the General of the Resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on! Okay. <laughs> this feels like... Yes, it definitely feels like... Uh, no, not even slightly. Hmm? It's not that you do a bad impression of her. More like... Uh, something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. It just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide, like she can just peer in and see them. But it's different with you. I trust you, so I don't feel yeah, I need to hide my secrets this, in the first place. Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around you. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. Are you serious? I love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. <laughs> All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. Still not over. This is so good. <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then, it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. Wow, uh, don't mind if I do. <sighs> That's so sweet. <laughs> Is this the best? Can I can I predict what the ending will be like? It's just suddenly jump here, jump there, jump here, jump there. <laughs> okay, done. Let's go, Rose. Story quest. Hang on, even more like. I think that's all the Inazuma characters, except for Kukishinobu and Heizo. But I'll do Yunjin and Ningguang first. <laughs> okay, that's it for now guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.